beautiful morning. And about right now, the Empress of Australia will be sailing up the Mersey with a whole lot of tourists about to get their first look at Tasmania. And if you want to make a tourist welcome, why not tell them to go and have a word with the tourist information people at the Tiagara Aboriginal Centre out at the Bluff. And while they're there, tell them to check out the carvings. Uh, this is uh, one of the deepest carvings uh, in round we have here, uh, known as an abalone shell, which would be about three inches deep in the deepest point. This one is uh, known to be a fish's head, uh, with the eye there and the nose of the fish there, but what type of fish it is is not known. Good morning. Good morning, how are you this morning? Thank you. You'll come off the Empress this morning? Or yes, yeah, off the Empress this morning. How long are you over in Tasmania for? About two weeks. You were told something about a, a railway, an old vintage railway. Yes, uh, that is open today. Uh, at the moment they have uh, steam engines, so that is a pleasant trip along the Don River. It comes out more or less round towards the centre and then goes back. It's about a mile trip. As you realise today, there's not many steam trains about and it's quite interesting, really. got ideal pastures. You've got large areas of, of, the, of the island which is a limestone country. Uh, climatically everything's good about it. Our temperatures here never get as low as the temperatures in, in the northern uh, parts of uh, Britain and Ireland which is considered one of the best breeding grounds in the world. The best stock come from there anyway and we are much the same uh, distance from the equator as the South Island of New Zealand, where everybody flocks at this time of year to buy potential cup winners. I think we've got everything in Tasmania for breeding industry. We didn't have the uh, we didn't have the chainsaws. Just one thing. It was all the cross cut and the axe. And uh, get the logs out of the bush for the look team. You see plenty of good axemen. The art hasn't been lost at all. You've only got to go to the carnivals around the north coast, and you see the good axemen just as good as they were in those days.
We found the accommodation very good. The motels are wonderful, but to stay at a farm is so relaxing, and the children really enjoy it. There's so many things to see. I mean, you pull off the road to an old mill and it turns out to be an art gallery and a really, really interesting art gallery, really good things and not just a tourist trap. I really love it. I love the way that the building really looks like part of the forest and when you've been out for a long walk somewhere it's really cold and you come back there and there's big open fires to sit around. I think it's a great place. back up towards your left, it's the last coloured light in the cave, it's a sunset, all colouring you see from here on is natural. From the ceiling above you, it's a chandelier. Now if you look back down the path, back the way you came, there's some of the cave's natural colour. It's a plain light shining through that formation. Oxidised iron in the formation gives the colour.
I think a lot of people uh, have a go at the hydro, but as a fisherman uh, and a boating enthusiast, uh, canoeing, rowing, uh, fishing, uh, I get a lot of immense satisfaction out of these lakes, the lake areas. Uh, fly fishing, spinning, trolling from a boat. Uh, we do all of these and none of it would have been possible uh, without these inland waterways.